Hello there everyone, this is Lilith and welcome back to another one of my videos for Altenew. Today I'm going to be sharing a layout I created for the March 2018 release where we have some beautiful washi tape, some lovely stencils and also some spray inks. For this layout I'm going to be using the watercolor bouquet stencil which is a lovely stencil which you can layer which is really fantastic i'm going to start off with a uh, green color which is a uh, minty mint it's the lighter color here and i'm just going to color the leaves in this color i'm masking off the sides just to make sure that i don't get any of that color onto my paper then i'm going to use the color dewdrop to for the flowers and i'm just working my way up so I'm just going to add color. I'm doing this really roughly and gently at the same time. And I'm just going to place my stencil in a different direction and mask off certain parts so that I get a kind of overlapping effect. So here you can see me placing the stencil and where you can see the blue pop out, I'm just going to add a little bit of washi tape there so that I don't uh, go over the same spots with the same color. So I'm just going to continue doing this with my first layer. So once I have created the first layer with my stenciled image, I'm going to go over with a darker color and I'm just going to flip over the stencil and use the second stencil here to create a little bit of detail. For the green, I'm using Sweet Leaf and for the blue, which is the darker shade after Dewdrop, it is Aqualicious. And as you can see, just by adding that little bit of extra color, you add lots of depth. I did do a little mistake at the top, but I'll try and rectify that a little bit later on. So here, once again, I'm just playing, placing that over the, the base image, and then I can add my detail. I really loved how these flowers turned out, but I did want to add a little bit of sheen to them. So I'm using one of the newer uh, spray inks, which is called Iridescent, and I'm just popping that onto an acrylic block and using a paintbrush and just going over it. And this just gives a lovely shine and sparkle to the flowers. This is a really easy way just to add a bit of interest and spruce up a card or a layout. Thank you. 
Now that I have my background ready, I can start working on the layout. And I'm using this lovely dotted washi tape from Altenu. I really love the new washi tapes. They are really nice and wide. And this gives you so many possibilities if you want to just revamp maybe a frame or even do some artwork on a wall. These are fantastic. I love the size of them and they are really good quality. I had this really funky cutout just lying around. This does come from some Altenew uh, pattern paper from the Reflection Scrapbook Collection. And I just cut out this really funky kind of leaf shape and I thought I'd use it on here to mat my photo onto something. I also took a couple of acetate um, die cuts from the Reflection Scrapbook Collection. And here I'm just playing around with alphabets just to create the title. In the end, I thought I'd create my own title using the bold alphabet set and I created the word reading and I'm just going to cut that um, out of some lovely paper. I picked tones which were very similar to the tones I used on the layout. So from this lovely rainbow paper I cut out the blue and the green strips and here I'm just creating my title. I wa really wanted to use the whole word reading but in the end it's just a little bit too large and so I just adapted my title and made it read. So now that I'm happy with all the little elements, I'm going to start adhering them to the layout. And I'm trying to play around with those acetate pieces. Uh, in the end, I'm just going to use three, that lovely swirl at the bottom and then these butterflies at the top. And I glued one of the butterflies down too quickly, but I was able to remove the glue with an eraser. Here you can see me put down the title and just playing around and it's just a little bit too large. And so I'm trying to find out how I can place it on my layout, playing around with the uh, orientation. But in the end, I'm just going to stick to um, the four letter word read. So uh, as you can see here. Now, once I'm happy with how that is, I drew a border around the letters just to make them pop out. And I printed out a little bit of journaling on my printer. I'm going to add a couple of enamel dots from uh, the Our Family scrapbook collection uh, and there you have it that's almost finished just a couple of finishing touches popping the light the title onto some foam dots to create some dimension and that's the finished layout i hope you enjoyed this little video and i hope you're enjoying our blog hop and the new release at altenew can't wait to see you very soon with more inspiration for altenew thank you so much for joining me and i'll see you very soon bye bye